Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about startup scripts and how you can add your startup scripts to your virtual machines. Now, you can do it both at an instance level and at a project level. So in this particular chapter, we'll discuss on how it can be done at an instance level. And in the upcoming chapter, we'll see on how we can add a startup script at the project level. So let's see how we can do it at the instance level. So the most easiest way to do it is to add it directly. So let's do that. So before we do that, let's fetch a particular startup script. So this is the most basic startup script that you can have. So all that it does is it just installs Apache and it just adds this particular text that is Linux startup script has been added directly into the HTML page. So let's see how we can do that. So we create an instance first. So let's click on create instance. And let's make it as an E2 micro. And all that you need to do is you need to go to your management. And within management, there's something called as an automation. So within this automation, you can just paste your startup script. So let's copy this and let's just paste it here. And once you've saved it, the startup script will run and it will deploy Apache. So let's do it. So let's click on create. So let's open our external IP. Okay, one thing I need to add is I need to also open port 80. So let's click on edit once. I'll open the instance. Click on edit. And I will allow HTTP traffic. And let me just save this. And let's refresh this page once more. And you can see that an Apache web server has been created. And this is the same output that you had in this particular file. So this is the first way in which you can add a startup script in your particular virtual machine. Okay, so the next thing is you want to check the logs of your startup script. So to do that, let's SSH into the machine. And what you can use is you can again go back to your documentation. So this particular URL I will send in the description below. You can just copy this particular command and let's run it in the console. So let's paste this. And here you'll get all the information about the startup script. So this is all the logs that you can get about that startup script that you have. So if in case there is a bug or if in case you have some mistake in your startup script, you can just go through this particular command and see if there are any issues. Okay, so this is an important command. So again, this particular command, I will link in the description below. And the next thing you would want to do is, let's assume that in your startup script, you want to add something else, but you do not want to restart that particular machine. You just want to add something extra in your startup script and run it again. So how do you do that? So let's see how we can do that. Let's go to our instance one. Let's click on edit. So I'll go down and you'll notice that there's a custom met metadata that gets created. And this in this custom metadata is basically the same startup script that you have added. So what I will do now is I will add another particular module that I want to install. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it. And this time what I'll add is an NPM install. And let me save this. So what I'm doing now here is I'm not actually restarting the machine. I'm just saving the startup script. So let's click on save. And what I need to do now is I need to restart that particular startup script without restarting the entire machine. Now to do that, let's go back to our documentation. What you can do is you can run this particular command. So let's copy this and let's run it in our console. So I'll just exit out of this. Let me clear my screen and let's run that particular command. And now let's do an NPM. So this is one way in which you can actually update your startup script without having to restart your machine. Okay, so that is it for the first method. Now let's look at the second method in which you can add a startup script. So here I have created an instance and this particular instance does not have any startup script. So to verify that you can just SSH into the machine. And let's run the command to check the logs for the startup script. Again, this is the same command that I had shown you previously. Let's copy this. And let's paste this particular command. So you can see that it states that no startup script to run. So what I will do is I will edit this particular machine. Now to do that, let's go to our virtual machine. Let's open it. 
let's click on edit and all that you need to do is you need to go to your custom metadata custom metadata and here you need to add a specific key value pair so the key should be very specific so let's open our documentation so the key that you need to add is startup script And the value should be the script. So let's get that particular script. I'll just copy this. And let's add it here. OK, now let's save this. And let's see whether the startup script runs. OK, let's view our command again. And you can see that there is no startup script that has run. So what you need to do is you need to restart the entire machine. Now, like I said previously, there are two ways in which you can do it. You can either restart the machine or you can run a command that I had shown you previously as well. So this particular command, rerunning a Linux startup script. So you can either use this command if you do not want to restart the machine. But for this particular example, let's restart our machine and let's see whether the startup script has run. So what I'll do is I'll stop this machine and I will start it again. Okay, my instance has been stopped. So let's start it again. Click on start. I need to retry. That's because my instance has disconnected. So what I'll do again is let's log in again. So let's close this and let's SSH into it again. And let's get the view output. Let's copy this and let's paste it. And here you can see now that I can see logs and that means that my script has successfully run. So let's get the IP address and let's see finally whether we have that particular Apache web server installed. And let's open the external IP. And once again, let's open the port. So the ports are closed again. So let's click on edit. And let's save this. And let's refresh it once more. And now you can see that it has been added. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. In this lecture, you learned how you can use the startup script meta metadata key or add the startup script directly while creation of the instance. In the next lecture, I'll talk about how you can use your startup script URL as well as use your gcloud command to install your startup script. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next.